What's up everyone? This is the Panda Photographer here. I'm going to go pick up a package from Pixel right now at the Amazon locker. Uh, I gotta walk five blocks. So let me go grab it really quickly, unbox it for you guys, and field test it. So this video is going to be a field test on how well it does and how well it performs and see the quality and see if it's right for you guys. Okay, so here's the package from the Amazon Locker. Now, yes, go back to the library and do a little bit of unboxing and first look. Killers on the corner, gang signs getting tossed. Yep, 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 right. Rolling purple haze, boss. Killers on the corner, gang signs. So, this is a TW283S for the Sony S1, means for Sony Alpha cameras. See, for Sony. So, the features are 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, 18 meters of range, up to 30 channels, it has single shot, it has burst shot, bulb, and timer. So, made in China, his product, Pixel Enterprise Limited, and you can see all the specifications on the back, but let's unbox it. And just check it out. Okay, so in the box, over one side, here is the transmitter, which is pretty cool. It looks like it needs AAA batteries. Here is the Sony Alpha A mount cable that will attach to this to the camera. And here is the re wireless remote that will be programmed so let's take it out the package and this is the first look uh, first impressions is basically it is plastic not the best quality plas plastic I have to say but it is uh, plastic <laughs> uh, stick on gels don't eat that and basically this is play and stop button off and on power I believe this might be up down and you got left and right the shutter button which is pretty nice and the transmitter which is goes on top of the camera and silicone gels once again yep AAA batteries and the plug for this to be plugged in into the camera which is pretty nice and another triple batteries so that's pretty much it guys and uh, I'm gonna try to power this on give me one moment so unlike this one here which the display died but it still works this one does not have a uh, off and on power switch which is unfortunate but this one does both of them does so you can turn it off and on by holding the power button as you can see it has a led light for both and they're all programmable so this is where you set it up you can go to single post set up the channels you can go into motor bursts if you want to get uh, hdr photos you can go into bub you can go into timer, you can go set it up based on how many images that you need. This one you can set it up as as many images you need. So let's see if I want to go up. But I have to read the manual first to actually make sure that I can read this correctly so I can give you guys a good feedback on the product. But first impressions is for 30 bucks. Seems pretty decent. Seems very, very good so far as the build quality and first impressions very 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 good better than this one here that does not have an off and on power switch unfortunately but this one is 
much better. Therefore, I can save power. And yes, these do, do take AAA batteries, so keep that in mind. But other than that, this is a first look of the Pixel. Okay guys, I'm gonna quickly show you how to set this up very quickly before we start. So, before you start doing anything, hold the two buttons down simultaneously at the same time. This will help you set up the channel that you want to set up the transmitter and receiver. Keep in mind, this is the receiver. This is the transmitter receiver. Set the, set up the channel where you want by going up or negative, plus negative. I'm gonna set it at 15, press both buttons again, now you're set. On the transmitter, what you want to do is go to settings, go to the channel settings, that says channels down on the bottom. Press the center button to set up your channels based on what you want, up or down. Down is negative, up is plus. So I'm gonna set it at 15. <coughs> and just to show you how this works, I'm gonna have enough enter bolts at five seconds each. I have the camera set at 2.5 seconds, ISO 100, and I'm gonna press it right now. You can see that it's actually working. Keep in mind that you're only allowed to take 99 images with the remote. But you can also continue it when it says N1 on top. You can also take it a second set of 99 images. Now you can see that it's actually working. So that's a quick setup for you guys. So you can see that it's actually working wirelessly. So it does work efficiently. And now you can turn off the transmitter and the receiver. So hopefully that helps you guys. If that has helped you in any way, please do support this channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing this content. And go to my website at 646studios.com where I have tutorials on photography, videography, and you can see my portfolio pages. But not only that, you can help this channel out by donating to this channel to the PayPal donation. $2, $5, $10, whatever the amount that you would like to donate. But other than that, this is the Panda Photographer signing out the same. I will give you guys an update report on this pretty soon. And I'll see you guys. And thank you for watching the first look of this Pixel Wireless Shutter Release Remote for Sony Alpha E-Mount cameras. And I'll see you guys in the next one.